Good morning, good morning. Uh, nice to talk to you again. Uh, so today will be some information concerning early, maybe even first phase, fair, fair phase first, first, first stage of occupation of Gezira at site Tel El Farha, the delta of the Nile. So, the excavation conducted by uh, Dr. Marek Hornitsky and Professor Krzysztof Czałowicz uh, works in Delta, at more or less at this region. It was difficult to find exact place of of uh, loca location of of the uh, Gazala. It's a small city and. Uh, but more or less it's at, at, this, at, at this area. So at this archaeological site at Tel El Farha, excavation is conducted during more than 30 years. And there are three combs, three small hills, small uh, concentrations of uh, archaeological finds. One is com C, second is uh, com, uh, this is com A, this is com C, and com W. At com W uh, was made a trench uh, like this, and uh, at this trench were discovered following structures. Uh, present in stratigraphy on the top of sands of Gezira, these yellow, yellowish uh, sediments. There are sands of Gezira, and uh, uh, these sands are, are, were made in the past. Uh, many various objects, like as you see, and uh, on the base of relation between these uh, objects is possible to say which one of them was earlier and, and which one was later uh, dark in this this Gezira sands. So uh, on the base of literature and information present in the report of uh, from field works uh, prepared by uh, Marek Hornitsky and Krzysztof Czałowicz, uh, the age of this uh, occupation on the top of, of uh, Gezira Sands is more or less about 3600 BC. And uh, it's it's belonged probably to the stage Nagada 1C, but maybe it's slightly old, older. Some places are older, and some places maybe are slightly younger. Under the microscopy, the Gezira sands are relatively coarse, built of coarse grains, polished, very. Uh, rounded grains. This is uh, sample taken about one meter under the surface of Gezira, but the top of Gezira is uh, materials look like this. Grains of quartz are coat, coated, are covered with the clays of seals of Nile. This uh, primary shape of of grains of quartz of Gezira is, um, let's say, um, not well seen because of the presence of clay minerals of Nile origin. This means that at this place where are uh, objects shown you, know, this uh, last stage uh, before the occupation, there was very high Nile, 
and these sands were covered with thin layer of uh, silts uh, transported by, by Nile. On the base of this photo, um, we may uh, determine the sequence of the um, preparation of these objects, of, of digging of this, these objects. Uh, what is the, the reason? How, how is done? How this is done? This is done on the base uh, of relation between objects. If, if one object is uh, crossing second, this means that this uh, second uh, crossed uh, uh, by, by uh, object younger is cutting older, older uh, object. For example, on the base of this relation, older, younger, older, younger, I try to determine the sequence of uh, digging of, of this object at the early stage of occupation of, of Gezira. This means about 3,600 years BC. And the first object on the base of uh, this criteria, as I said, is Object minus one. This is stage where, uh, when uh, the Gezira was not occupied. Sands were clean. Later, uh, people went uh, sit on the Gezira and start to dig uh, objects, holes, various. And this minus one uh, is first. On the photo, this is this place. And next, were dark next three objects, cutting object minus one. Next stage, uh, were, were dark object number one cutting object zero and minus one. And so, using this method was determined the sequence of, of uh, digging, of, of digging of these objects. So we have object minus one, next is zero, cutting minus one, next is one, cutting zero, and two, cutting uh, object number number one and other and two next object number two cutting this object and probably two objects two holes number two there uh, it's diff difficult to say what is the age of this uh, of this elongated type of trench uh, but probably it's dark slightly la later because it's cutting object number zero. And next stage of digging is represented by holes number three that are cutting two and zero and two and two at other place. At this moment appear uh, two elongated uh, features, two elongated objects, probably small, small trenches. For what? Nobody knows. They are covered, part of these trenches is covered at this part by younger holes, younger objects. And appeared object number three, uh, type of of trench uh, slightly uh, um, irregular in shape and next we have objects number four uh, which are cutting objects number three like four cutting number three and four no cutting this uh, this small trench and 
in part cutting uh, trench number three, probably it's not. Uh, uh, we are not sure. And next we have objects number four eight. There are dark at object number four. Two, younger. There are cuttings. There are. They were dark at object number four. And next object number four we have there. Object number five. Five is quite weak, elongated, ellipsoidal, and is cutting objects number three, four, and four a, and three again. And at the object number five, we have younger objects five a, two, two holes, but this is probably slightly younger than this because it's cutting this elongated object at this place. Primary, sh primary shape uh, of this object was probably like this, elongated to this place, and because of digging, it this object was cut by new object 5A. <coughs> and appeared object number 6, cutting number 5, there and uh, and there appeared object object of the uh, uh, number five B. It's it's difficult to, it's difficult to say if it's of the same age as six or it's it's of course younger than five A because it's cutting is dark at the object 5a. At the same time appeared elongated small trench, uh, probably at the same time number 5. So it's of the same age like this object or maybe like this. It's difficult to say because there, was, there are no <coughs> connections b with other objects. and. Appear objects number six, next generation, younger, much younger than all these. And at this object six are dark, smaller objects, six A, two, and at this, this is slightly older and this is slightly younger because this six A is cutting is crossing uh, through the wall of of object 6a and next younger generation of objects is 6b it's difficult uh, to say what is the age of this object because these objects 6a and 6b are co contacting one with the other there is no this six b is not cutting six a maybe this is slightly younger, but it's not sure and last object at this sequence of holes, various canals, and so on it's uh, object number seven, which is cutting object number six b this one uh these uh, observations and sequence of drawings show uh, the um, sequence of uh, digging of objects at this uh, first stage of occupation of Gezira. So the oldest uh, is minus one, object minus one. The youngest is object uh, number seven. So, going across all these uh, objects, we one can see the sequence uh, and uh, historical sequence of the preparation of these objects, starting from minus one up to object object number seven. So, uh, 
on the base of this reconstruction, one can collect samples uh, from uh, these objects. Maybe there are different, there are various substances, maybe not, probably not, but if there are charcoals or other uh, materials uh, possible for uh, use for determination of the age, we may obtain the age of of occupation, time of occupation of this part of Gezira starting from uh, the oldest object up to up to youngest seven. So it's not only <laughs> document of human activity that people dug holes, but we may uh, try to say how long they stay there. 3,600 years before Christ, how long the, the, the occupation functioning uh, settlement, uh, how long time worked. And of course, this is only part of these uh, objects discovered by uh, uh, expedition. Uh, uh, the, the, at other places and other trenches, archaeological trenches, are uh, other sequ sequences of uh, of objects uh, and it's possible use these uh, objects and especially sequence of this object for uh, more precisely done uh, description of functioning of this site at this time so because it's probably first occupation of the gazira so it's uh, very important what uh, there were these peoples from where they came, uh, what they did, why they came there, and so so, and on the base of uh, examination of materials from uh, these objects uh, representing sequence of phenomenon in the past, it's chance to say that was this and this. So, uh, of course, uh, we may discuss if uh, uh, object number four is uh, really uh, young, younger than three and so, so, but on the base of geological observation, this sequence is uh, prepared by me as, as well as, uh, as was possible. So, for the expedition, is small suggestion that knowing this sequence of work uh, is possible to collect samples for more precisely done examination of age of uh, various uh, substances collected at these objects, etc. So, thank you for listening and I invite you to next meeting and to next small lecture. Have a nice time. Thank you very much.